The most common complaint in the office is fatigue upon reading as we're getting later in the day or that our arms are no longer long enough and we find that we're holding things farther and farther away and by gosh, we just can't read the material. Inside the eye, as the eye is changing, it's the lens that changes its power. It accommodates and has this ability to change its shape. As we're getting older, that crystalline lens or human lens is simply getting stiffer. So now the muscles are pulling against this stiffer lens, can't quite change the shape as well as it used to. By the end of the day, what they've been pulling against stiffer and harder, their muscles fatigue, they were out and they come in and become symptomatic. Trying to prevent it isn't going to happen. The simplest of solutions everyone knows about is going and getting some cheetah readers. Over-the-counter readers are even effective. They simply give some power back to the eye. So we start with lower powers. The problem with starting the readers is now you're no longer doing any push-ups. You've stopped going to the gym, so the muscles get weaker and weaker, and it's not uncommon that you find what a small reader worked early on, but quickly you found, I'm back at the store buying something stronger and stronger until it stabilizes. Lots of people try contact lenses. They're bifocal contact lenses or monovision contact lenses. Put a contact lens on one eye to give us some power in that eye. It blurs the distance a little bit, but leaves the other eye perfectly acceptable for distance. Works very well. Are there surgical corrections for presbyopia? Absolutely. They're accommodating intraocular lenses. They're a condition called conductive keratoplasty. They do it with one eye. They try to change the shape of the cornea. LASIK can do this. And, and there's some newer inlays coming for the cornea that will permanently allow you to have correction for it, your presbyopia. One of the, the newest exciting news in ophthalmology is they're looking at a drop to take care of presbyopia. One drop instilled the eye may last eight hours. It's still an investigational trial with the FDA. Likely not, we won't see it in our market for at least a year, but that could revolutionize the ease with which we take care of this problem. The bottom line, Presbyopia is going to happen to all of us. It's a normal aging change for the eye. It's not detrimental to the healthy eye, but it's a huge nuisance. There are lots of good solutions out there and better ones coming in the market, hopefully within a year or so.